Hey, Sneaky Alex back once again tonight. Tonight we have Petit Pois. Petit Pois. Petit Pois. Yeah, don't diss me about the old spelling. That's how the ISF spells it, right? Okay, I've sort of spelt it, shall I say. Petit Pois, based on Papinix Slacko 53, super the duper, but comes with, guess what? As you can see, no. Oh, yes, indeedy. Now, it is usable. There's a few things that don't work, but they don't actually enhance or disenhance performance, should I say. As you can see, me clock went walk about. It's just gone walking about somewhere in the system. It just doesn't want to come on, but that's part of GNOME, okay? Part of GNOME. Now, I've installed it. All the uh, internet connection is all going down. My firewall is installed. I have my two desktops. Remember, you can have as many as you want to. So, as usual, it's GNOME. Got computer roots home now because puppy runs in root it's going to be called roots home because it is installed by the way and get your trash or rubbish bin and you're also right because it's gnome and they've done a bit of work here a bit of a mint menu going down oh yes indeedy yeah that was quite you know it's all right isn't it so under favorites you get slick pet genumeric internet connection with which you would you need to use before you start using it appearance one well, of the problems I had before, if I click on Abbey Word, it comes up in the small one. I had this problem before, and we've had this problem before in part before, but it will get sorted out eventually, okay? But anyway, Abbey Word is, should we say, 291, because it's based on Slacko. So that's Uncle Dory, so we'll get rid of that, by the way. Right, you say, so it's GNOME. What's different about it? Well, it's GNOME for a start. Now, I did install the locals so I could get a, a full UK thing going down from my my language but it don't seem to work very well okay but that's no big deal i'll go to the system monitor it's the gnome system monitor now whether it's working correctly i don't know okay but it's only using 102 mega ram according to this but the cpu is like getting in and out in and out whether the actual system monitor is using quite a bit i don't know okay it is a testing distro by the way it's his first puppet okay so he's still working on it so don't worry too much but i think if you can get this sorted this could be a good alternative for everybody else. Yes, who likes pup anyway? But no. Anyway, back to the menu. We're going to all the applications. Now I've installed quite a few myself. One of the first ones I installed was Asunder. It's Asunder 2, by the way. Works out of the book. There's no OG, okay? So you have to install OG. Okay, so when I'm encoding, it's an MP3 here, because that's by default via Totem. Okay, so that's all right. Next on the menu, I'll go back. This is a bit I don't like. Let's keep going back and forward, back and forward, back. Back and forth and forth. Connection cups is here, dictionary is here, disk uses analyzer and your disk utility. A PDF document viewer, double F convert is here. I'll open it up for you so you can see it all works. Five or three to one, a bit of drinkage, but it does what it says. Oh, too late. Mm. It's one, two, one. I think the newer one's even newer than that. Remember, in this, you can convert basically anything you want to to any format, audio or video. Okay, no big deals over your phone or anything. Anyway, I've installed Firefox, but unfortunately, because I've not updated the repos, it's a nightly build, but it is Firefox 12. I'll show you what I mean if I go down to help. It's a nightly build, and it's Firefox 12. So we need to update my repos and get down and dirty that way, don't I? Because I'm going to keep this on the system a little while, I think. Yes, I think I will, because I rather like it. It's, you know, gnome and pup goes together. Oh, well, no, it's 300 megabytes download. That's still pretty small, though, isn't it, when you think about it? Well, I've installed the Flash Player, Flash 11, so that all works hunkily-dory. Gpod is here. I've installed GTK record my desktop. Should we give that a go? Yes. Audio and video works out of the tin. I was really surprised. Although trying to get advanced out of the way, it don't want to work. So some things need sorting out there. Get rid of that. So I believe I've recorded. So we're actually now recording. A recording. And it's super duper in it. So to make sure we're doing it properly, if I just go and do that, do a few things to make it a little bit different. I'll open up Genomeric just to say it works. Look, it's all hunky dory. And we go back down to our little GTK on my desktop. You just click on it once and it does what it says. So I'm just gonna wait for it to go through and then we're gonna have a look at it. So I'll have a bit of drinkage while it's doing it. Or shall I? Yeah, yeah, I will. Well, I'll wait for that to finish. Now I've done some bit of installing here as well to make sure everything works hunky dory. Well, I was going to go down to Office, but when you go to Office, if I show you, I've installed LibreOffice, but you only get Base and Calc in that part, okay? But if I go down to All, and we scroll down to L for LibreOffice, we do get LibreOffice Writer as well. There you go, five, five, three, two, one. Remember, it's doing the main coding at the same time. But LibreOffice is here as well for you to use. Look, does what it says on the Latin. Bonjour. So we'll quit that. 
all Uncle Dory. We go to our route home, and we should, in theory, find a little video. All the stuff's here as you would do in Gnome anyway, but if we just play a little video back, there we go. Buffer to one, and there it goes. The audio does play as well, it captures audio no problem whatsoever, although I've not tried it on videos longer than two and a half minutes, okay? No, no longer than that, just in case, you know. I don't have time to be really nice with you. But yeah, so that all works, so that's nice. Nicely, nicely, another good feature. Okay, back to all applications again. Right, now I won't do that, I'm gonna to go to sound and video, oh yeah. Now by default, we have Rhythmbox, the gnome that's default player, okay? So I've done a bit of ripping, a bit of playing. Now this is the errors you get with the plugins. You can't actually install any plugins at the moment. I've tried a few times, none of the plugins work as to say. But I've ripped them in asunder, so if I just like click on a couple here, like if I go to staring at a sand level 42, and we go click on there, and in theory that'll play in the background, and you can't hear it because I'm just going to turn it off. It all works hunkily dory. Whereas sometimes before, when you're trying to install a dev package, say in um, 528 or 525, it didn't actually work very well, did it? No, it didn't. It was very horrible. Yes, you really like your chat very much. Okay, what else got down here? Mm. Sound records here, volume control. Exford cap is a standard. Now, you, this is an application that really needs updating if they want people to use it, but it does work if you want to do basic screen capture, okay? And the system tools, you get all the usual, disk usage, blah, 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 pup scan interface, administration. Remember, it's no, no mem pup, so it's a bit, you know, bit of each. The puppy package manager is here. Now, as per all pups at the moment, it does take a little while to come up. Like, about five, ten seconds. We're waiting now and it's still not doing anything. Oh, there it is. Nice and quick. You can switch your fonts and stuff like here and your drivers. If I go down to multimedia, you can see the double FM pixel stuff you can do in Audacity 1.3 is here. Aqualung is here if you want to use Aqualung and some other stuff. And VLC standalone. If we go to internet, you can install Chromium and stuff like here or Google Chrome even. Should we try that one? Yeah. Should we do a bit of installing? Might as well. Well, yeah, might be. Yeah. Give it a go. Install Google Chrome? Yes, we'll give that a go. So, wait for it to come up. I'm going to get it from the needle ons. Okay, I'm done now. We'll just wait for it to download and install. Remember, I've got a nice internet fast connection here, so that's super duper. Won't take too long. I think it's around about 18 to 20 megs, so that's not too bad, really, is it? Another little bit of drinkage. Hang on. And all we do basically once it's downloading, just wait for it to install which can, at the moment, take longer than the download. Which is a bit different, isn't it? Would I like to know my default browser? Yeah, might as well, because it's just, it's just a testing one, this system, for me. It's been installed, so I have to wait for Tango Bar to update and go away. That shouldn't be too long, though, should it, really, when you think about it? No. And got the old GDK stuff going down here. So that's all full gnome, it's lovely jubbly. Now, for 300 megs of download, you should be able to get it in at least 20 minutes, even on a slower connection. And although it's not totally working totally perfecto, excepto, and stuff like that, I think it's really cool for Pup, okay? Especially for Slacko, it's a really good add-on, I think. Somebody's actually gone out and done this and made their own Pup, basically. Or whatever you want to call it, you know. It's their own respin. So, just got to wait for the Tango Bar to go away, and we can go and check out Google Chrome. It's 17.0963, by the way. And it's for Slacko, by the way. Somebody's made the pet for it. But there is lots and lots of other stuff for you to do stuff there with anyway, okay? Okay, just got to wait for this to go all full screen again. And we can go and have a nice little look. Oh, it's checking for our dependencies and shared libraries. Oh, let's have a little drinkage here. Oh, no. Come on. No missing library. Oh, a couple missing there. But we, you could always go and get them if you really wanted to, okay? And sort it out. Might take you a bit of time but you'll be able to do it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to try if we go to internet and see if it's in there. It's not there, so basically we're going to go to up here to all and go down to Chrome, see if we can find it. Well, good for Google Chrome. Here we go down, we go down, we go down. It, oh, there it is. So we click on Google Chrome and make sure it all comes up. Okay, Dory. Will it come up or will it not? As things are working on the hard drive, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it, but nothing's worked that time, is it? Okay, just in case, I'll go to my other desktop, just in case it decides to work in a minute, okay? I'll show you a little bit more, and then we'll go away and have a little talk. 
all applications. Oh, by the way, I'm, I've installed the drivers that we spoke to. Need for it. I've got Flash for it, so it's hunky dory. Told you about Firefox. Midori works all right, but it, it's not up to the, the minute really. We need some stuff doing to Midori. It really needs a bit of stuff going down. I've used the universal installer to do this, by the way. So that's super of the duper. Works super lovely, jubbly, super. I'm going back to my desktop. Dual do Chromebook? No. But I bet if I restarted it, it would. So we can change our desktop background while we're here. We've got a little P there, so I want to change from the P to St. Kills. Wait a little while. Google Chrome. Blah, 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 blah. It's only a dual core system, by the way. I'm using it on. So we just go and find out. Uh, oh, Mrs. Ladybird. Hello, Mrs. Ladybird. Hello. Nice to see you, dear. And we change it. So it's GNOME, Puppy Linux, Slacko, Super Duper. It's really, really nice. I'm not actually going to score it for the simple reason it's his first puppet and it does need a little bit more work to get everything working especially me clock you know, I don't know what time it is you know what time it is but I like it it's really nice go and get my down I don't know it's 300 meg but hey most of you should have a decent connection now so give it a try sneaky Linux going out I'll see you later by the way <laughs>